Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and today was a big day for Apple. They did manage to announce several new products, and one of them being the new iPad Mini. Of course, it's no surprise, we did know it was coming, what with all the rumors swimming around. However, I was surprised at how Apple managed to fit so much into such a small package. And what I have here is the iPad Mini dummy unit. It's basically the same size and shape as the real thing. However, of course, I can't get the real thing right now as it's going to be available for pre-order the 26th of this month. Now, the display will be 7.9 inches, and what I'm holding right here is a mock-up. It's the exact same version as the original release, so this is exactly what it's going to look like. And it will be offered in two colors, white and black, so this is basically the white version. The display will be 7.9 inches diagonally, so it's bigger than the competition, the Nexus 7 or the Kindle Fire. The display itself will not be a retina display, it'll be 1024 by 768 so basically the resolution of the iPad 2. Yes there will be a front facing camera and a rear camera on the back 5 megapixels a 720p in the front the device itself will be 7.2 millimeters thick. That's just a bit thicker than the iPad 4, which they also did announce, and I'll get to that in just a second. Now, it will be 0.68 pounds, so it'll be a very, very light device, basically like an iPod Touch 5th generation, but with a bigger screen. Now, it won't be as fast as the new iPad they did announce. It'll have the A5 processor, so basically the processor that was found in the iPhone 4S. Still, it will be a very fast device, as the screen is not a retina display, meaning there will be more processing power for graphics and the such. So you're not getting the retina display, however I am sure the Apple will not disappoint us. On a smaller display like this, a retina display is not that important, however it still would have been nice and of course crush the competition. But Apple was very confident when they did say that it will kill the competition with its bigger screen that you can fit a lot more things into. Yes, LTE will be offered, and of course there will be different size configurations, but the iPad mini will start at $329 for the 16 gigabyte version. As you of course add on options, the price does go up, but I do think that's a fair price. Compared to competitors, it is a bit more pricey, so you know, you decide. Do you want the support of Apple or the cheaper price of competitors? Now on a different note, Apple did also announce the new iPad 4. Some call it the iPad 3S already because there's not much difference, it's just a faster processor, A6X, which Apple claims doubles the performance of the iPad 3. The display is the same, the size is the same, the only difference is the new processor and of course the lightning port on the bottom. So not much difference for the iPad 4, but still a very big product for Apple. So there you go guys, I'm just covering the iPads. Apple did also announce a new MacBook Pro 13 inch with a retina display, as well as their new iMac lineup, which is important, but I'm just covering the iPads in this video. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for any news on the new iPads and have a great day guys. Peace.